and what's good YouTube land that weird collector here chant his name it's time to talk about the transformation device of the currently airing Ultraman the Ultra Z Riser this is what we've been sort of pseudo building up to in these looks at uh, past Ultraman toys and I didn't uh, want to correct I I think I said that Taiga was the first Ultraman to have crystalline eyes, but it's actually Zed in all of his forms. And this is, well, well, it technically is a transformation device, but multiple people also use it. So uh, there you can see a big shot of it right here with a Zed uh, Alpha Edge. I like the naming scheme, Alpha, Beta, Gamma. I wonder what his next form after Gamma will be. Omega, maybe? The uh, three... Well, I guess they're poker chips. I don't think they have... Or they might be metals. Things and stuff. Uh, Zed and his four forms currently out there. His base form, Alpha Edge, Beta Smash, Gamma Future. The Game of Future set has yet to release. So, here's another shot of his base form and his Alpha Edge. There's a continuation of that shot right there. And I'm going to say this right now. They haven't... It might be a spoiler for future events. But just looking at... Uh, where, what's the best shot of Zed's? base design right here he he's got to be related to another ultraman just that design is too like maybe it's just the uh um uh, what's it called on his head the fact that he has this basically he has an ultra slugger or a seven slugger on his head i'm gonna call i'm gonna take a risk and say he's related to zero i'm gonna say he's also a brother of like he's a brother of zero very similar to Taro and Leo. Like, like that blue, red, and black design with the slug, with the... It, it's still reminiscent of 7 and 0. To not be connected somehow. Other than him just using their powers. Like, it was base form. He doesn't use their powers, and yet... It's still... Oh, it's just... I don't know yet. We're only eight episodes, nine episodes in. I've been to, I've been enjoying it quite a lot. I've been watching along every week. And on the back, it just shows you things it can do. So let's get it open. Inside, have the instructions along with the one access card you get inside. And actually inside, you get that. You get these three. We'll talk about them in a second. Get this. Make sure it's in its default ready position. Put that off to the side. Here we have the Z riser, or Z. Z riser. No, well, it's pronounced Zed, like Zed. I like it. it. We're back to handheld transformation devices so quickly after one departure, unfortunately. I hope we get more handheld devices in the future. But I like the mechanism. It it's it's actually it's, it's a two. Uh, system setup, if that makes sense. You have both cards and basically metals, or uh, in this case they look like poker chips. I believe they're referred to as, oh my god, I can't get in my hand, as uh, metals. But they seriously look like red poker chips. I placed 500 on uh, Ultraman Zero. <laughs> But it's 
kind of I, li I like the design I like it I like the look of it when it's completely open like this I like the uniformity in design even though there's red spots here the big Z or Z right down there bit of molding detail on the back and the card slot is right here where the LED is so uh, uh, switches right here battery compartment right there holds three triple A's do that again uh, speaker is actually right behind it right here and uh, you can access Zed's base form by just having no metals and you also get a standby noise hold on I was trying to talk over, I was talking over that, so let's hear it again. Oh, it didn't work? Oh, right. I have to actually, I completely forgot, I have to act, I have to input the card. So here's the main character, Haruki's access card got a picture of Zed up top just a picture of Haruki right there I'm generally enjoying him because <laughs> there are moments where he is generally funny and also gets the chance to do more than just be the host but on the back there's a picture of Zed uh, I'm trying to think of Zed is uh, too, I think he's almost a uh, sycophant to Ultraman Zero. Maybe he actually designed himself after Ultraman Zero, but I got to think he's related, it's related to another Ultraman somehow. But he, he wants Zero to train him, but Zero refuses because, well, he looks too much like him. So just uh, slide the card. Oh, I forgot. It doesn't matter whether you slide it before or after you press the button, but we'll just... Stand by noise. And that's basically, in the show, Ultraman Zed can take over Haruki's body and fight human size like that. And you can also get an attack out of this if you, uh, th the locking mechanism for this, this side is right here, so you just slide it up. And then to activate a final attack, you have to hold down the button as opposed to press it. Do this again. And just give you a shot of what it looks like on the back. You activate his final attack, the Zestium pulls it, and you're not fresh until you're Zestium fresh. And now we'll do a proper transformation. I'm going to do this uh, as properly as I guess nerd out a bit. Oh, I. Uh, I oh my god, I'm embarrassing myself because I want to do this. Uchu Kempo! You didn't know coming was on. I'm it's been awkward doing this. Zero Shuzo. Oh. <laughs> Seven Shuzo. Leo uh yeah, it's Leo Shuzo.
Os! Go to your side! What are you now? Superman Z! Superman Z! And I find it hilarious that the voice announcer pronouncing Alpha makes it sound like Alpha. I can never not hear Alpha Edge. Uh. I did that as nerdily as possible. And you can get a final attack if you uh, do it again. Just holding the button. Oop. Did I do it properly? Let me try that again. Oh, no, you get a STM laser there. It didn't scan Leo properly. And watching, I like how uh, I have I have the Jeed set coming with his card and Mel's uses, and I like how he actually holds it with his left hand. More my speed. But, uh, that's... The, uh, that's all you get straight out of the package, although you can actually scan the metals individually, much like the G riser and the orb, uh, I forget what it is, orb ring, and to get, uh, special, not, uh, well, you get sounds out of them. Oh, and if it's open like this, you get attack sounds? It's not a weapon. They don't fight with this thing. Whatever. And the metals do lock in there pretty good. Like they're you kind of, like they do a bit of a click lock, but they're not just gonna. Yeah, they're gonna if if you pull them out slightly, they're just gonna stay or go back into place. So you can do uh, zero and Leo. I'm just gonna do all the combinations I can think of that aren't Alpha Edge. You get their, you get their individual trans. I guess their inf individual summoning sounds. It's a bit awkward to hold it like this. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna be a lefty like Jeed. Actually, a righty. 
Because he's holding... Wait... Oh no, I think <laughs> I think they hold it with the right hand in the I have to watch the footage again. But it I like how it works with both hands no matter what you do. Oh, it didn't activate seven. And uh, you can also do things like, uh, I'm trying to think, if you did, say, the, um, these two medals with the orb medal as a third one, I think you would get the transformation call for orb uh, amadium slugger. So you there's like, just like the G riser and, uh, well, actually, I think that means there are more sound effects. Because that one just, ooh, it's a toss-up whether this or the g riser have more sound effects. But there are also kaiju medals. So I think this is going to win in total sound effects. Right. Look into my LED. Forget what it does if you. Uh, I wonder if it, this works. Nope. You actually can't access to them. Oh, when that's the power down. If that's everything. Uh, just to show you, you can insert it and then press the button. Although it doesn't give you the full sound, it still acknowledges that it's there. That's everything with this for now. Hmm. Yep, there are more access cards. There's one for uh, Ultraman Jeed, Ultraman Zero is most recent to hose. Uh, a dark orb, a dark ring for uh, Juggler. Juggler. I'm trying to remember his uh, human identity. The name he gave himself. 
And there's also one for the evil character with uh, his uh, with his kaiju medals. So there's a lot to do, a lot with this. And also, you can access, like I mentioned, different Ultraman transformations using the associated three medals. Like Orb, uh, Emanium Slugger was the first one that came to mind. But I'm trying to think of other ones in examples, but that's because <laughs> that's just what's based, what's released right now. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm thoroughly satisfied with the uh, medals and card system. Oh, come on, what am I doing wrong? And. I'm now I'm happy to watch the the next episode and watch along with my toy in hand. And isn't that the goal? Whenever you buy a toy from a show. So, yep, highly recommended. If you get a chance, because they're 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 not e these are not easy to come by anymore. But on the on the rare chance you can find the. Whoa. Ultraman Z! <laughs> On the rare chance you can find one, uh, I wouldn't skip past it. I'd, I'd snap it up as quickly as you could, actually. Because if you don't, somebody else will. And then you'll have to pay more, and that would be sad. Don't be sad. Buy it, <laughs> buy it when you can. But, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed... Uh, I don't, hmm, I don't know when, if any recently, if anytime soon, I'll do another big transformation device like this, because I, I do kind of want to go into past Ultraman, but, like, I'm a little bit wor wary of doing that, because anything past, uh, really, Ginga, there's not very much to them, so... I don't know how far back we'll go, but we'll certainly take a look occasionally. I do have more, um, more Zed stuff and more Taiga stuff coming. So when it gets here, I'll review it. I have the the metal holder, another the uh, the Jeed access card set, uh, amongst other things. I haven't 100% decided whether I want to get the uh, kaiju set, but it might be worth it just for that uh, belly oil. Well, we'll see. Until next. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Until next time, keep it ultra. I, I don't have a good phrase. Bye. Keep it weird. Bye.